knew, if you be- knew about, it would change your perspective. No, I, I believe no, no, believe no, no, Bibles listen, have listen, basically good no, teachings. No, I don't disagree. Yeah. I, agree, no, no. I bet we but would see, agree on 90, 90% of moral issues. All right, but there's one aspect, and this comes with wisdom and comprehension. Now, your wisdom and comprehension is based on what you know and what you've no, no, what I, I have, what I just have rashly decided, I cannot accept. No, uh, the, let's it, not argue about religion. No, let's I talk know. about this. Okay, let's talk about John. Right. Because John thought he was religious, and John was a a staunch Christian Catholic. Oh yeah, John Waterwitz. And every time he did anything bad or good, oh, I'm a Catholic, good Catholic. He would say that? Yeah, in the movie, how many times did he say, I'm a Catholic, I, I don't want to do anything bad. Uh-huh. But in reality... He didn't take him from robbing the no, bank. No, but once you study, and right. until you study, until you can... Quote, I'm a confirmed Roman Catholic, so no, I'm but, a No, Roman. no, but you, 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 you don't understand the Bible. Okay, well, let's not get no, into no, that. Let's get into John. He, so he was a good Catholic who understood the Bible, but robbed the bank. No, he didn't understand the Bible. Oh, he, he didn't. didn't understand God and God's oh. purpose. So, so then why did he end up robbing the bank? I mean, tell me about this painting. You punched a hole in it accidentally, bringing it oh, here. Oh boy, that not was quite crazy. Finished. Yeah, well. But anyway, it's going to be taken care of. Yeah. And, but this painting is for my friend, Randy. He doesn't understand. He wouldn't believe how much work is going into this. Oh, I weapon. can believe. I can see that. In, into the weapon alone, it's like so detailed. Yeah, but you were telling me that that weapon is a submachine gun with a silencer on it. Doesn't have anything <laughs> to do. He didn't. He had just a regular. Old, what? What did he have? A was it a twenty-two? What kind of gun did he have in the bank? No, uh, he had a couple of rifles, a shotgun, and some other. But wasn't Life anything like they have today? Was it an AK-47 no, or but anything? It was, one of them was powerful. And they had a, a pistol that was stolen out of the mail from the FBI. Interviewed him. Um, uh huh. And but John is. How did they get the pistol? I didn't. I didn't know that. Was that Sal's or was that John's? That was John. He got it from supposedly maybe the mob. Yeah. And his. But that was because he picked it up at one of those knife clubs that the so-called mob ran or whatever. Probably, but he knew Mike Umbers. Right, and, Mike Umbers. That's who I was thinking of. Yeah. Yeah, and so that, so you, so you're gonna have, you're there. gonna have his hand wrapped around the gun under the bottom there. Uh huh. He's holding on to another part, okay. but there's a lot of intricate detail that has to go into that weapon. Right. And more. I'm just doing a little more. I got to put a door in there, um, and whatever else you want. I see you're putting picture. that Chase Bank symbol. Is that gonna violate our? Are you, we're gonna get. Sued by Chase Bank? Well, is this, is this listen, painting after I buy it for peanuts and I sell it for millions? Listen, is after, Chase Bank going to be suing me for their cut? You have me as your GL House lawyer, <laughs> so don't worry about it. I win most of my cases. 